Right. I'm working on assembling a new control panel from this controller here, so I can uh, actually uh, control another aquaponics system. But I also have been working on the supervisory, doing some code changes. The code's right here, actually. Uh, what I wanted to do is actually get this sort of information that's actually sitting on the gauges and transfer to a uh, cell phone to a cell phone uh, in, a, in an app but instead of having to write the app I decided to go for a, a already uh, done solution this app right here is the data dashboard from the national instruments what it does is actually connects with the, in my case, supervisor, connects to your program, uh, pulls data out of it, and displays in a much more visual way. Uh, because I already, already had, I already had the uh, web page where I could read, but in text form. I wanted a visual way, so this app allows me to actually. Uh, configure, uh, assign uh, variables to actually indicators. The way it does that is actually here on my project I have declared some shared variables. Shared variables is exactly what the name implies. It's a variable that it can access over LAN or, or over the internet in my case. These variables you can actually use on the code, uh, on the block diagram, so this shared variable here, for instance, is actually grabbing data from this line over here that uh, reads from a sensor. So right now, uh, this shared variable is available to this app. I can add a page. Let me demonstrate how easy to, to do this, how easy it is to do this. Here I select, uh, let's see if you guys can read, shared variables. I got uh, this computer IP address, so I just click on that. Otherwise, I, I would have to add a new server. Shared variable, uh, shared system, it's the same name that I have here. Shared system, and now I have the same list that I have over here, I have on my, my phone. And I can't just, since I already, since I already have a temperature sensor connected to this controller I will be looking for temperature here it is temperature I want the gauge so select the gauge I want to do some changes the maximum valuable I want at 40 same way it is on the supervisory enter so 40 now I can hit play and there it is, 29 degrees. Same reading from uh, from this gauge over here, and it's much faster. This it actually pulls data in half a second, so it's quite real time from the supervisory to the actual uh, data dashboard. Another great thing about this is actually I have here the main. Uh, main supervisory that is actually connected to the controller on my aquaponics site and I, I can actually have data from it on the same uh, on the same screen so here is actually getting data from it I can show you guys let's see I don't have a level sensor connected here but I obviously I have over here so can show you guys that it is actually the same level so 69 69 so I can combine data from uh, multiple controllers from multiple supervisories on this data dashboard which is great so here temperature from this controller I can find the temperature from that other controller there and here it is Wow, oh, it's actually the same value. <laughs> what a odd thing. Oh, I guess that's it. Thanks for watching.